<laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that on that on my computer until I can figure out that uh, sound situation. So we're just gonna do it right here because you know what? We uh, we can figure things out different ways. Okay. So everybody just hop on my phone here and we will start talking and do the show this way until I can get all of that figured out. I hope y'all kind of got the, the idea of what I was doing, pointing at my phone. Um, I don't see anyone on here yet. Oh, Jana, there you are. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so yay, sound, good, good, good. Alrighty, so I got some things to figure out, okay? <laughs> It figures. Um, I hope I have enough power on my phone to do a whole hour on this. If I don't, we're going to get in as much as we can. Um, the reason that I wanted to start doing this is I have, I have had a lot of people come to me lately. A lot. Um, whether it be in person, online. Um, oh, and by the way, y'all, I can't see I have my contacts in. Hello, y'all. I mean, I, I am having a hard time seeing who it is, okay? Um, I have my contacts in, which means I can see far away, can't see up close. So just know, love y'all. Love y'all. I think you're all fantastic, but I can't see you. So I will go on here after I take my contacts out and put my glasses on, and I'm going to love on all of you, okay? Um, but I wanted to get into the nitty gritty of it. I have had a lot of people come up to me lately uh, in person online um you name it and they have wondered about their um their lot in life as of today you know what they're going through what they've been through in their life um you know uh, dreams that they've had things that they've went through things that they're currently going through how they're affected um and they're they're wanting to know is that something that could have something to do with a past life is it something that they're bringing upon themselves is it manifestation in reverse you know for lack of a better way of putting it um and these are all things that are really really important and i don't think that they get talked about enough and that was why i wanted to start the show doing this weekly show with this because i've been there Good gravy, y'all. The crap that I have A, been through, B, done, C, witnessed, you know, all of that can be tied for the majority back to things that I went through in previous lives. And the reason that I wanted to do this in a meditation slash past life regression form is because that was how, that was exactly how I actually witnessed one of my past lives was through meditation. Meditation itself took me into a past life regression. Is it one I would have chosen? Mm -mm. No, <laughs> not by a long shot, okay? Not by a long shot. Not one that if someone would have told me, hey, Vanessa, we're going to show you something like this. Okay. Um, how do you feel about that? I'd have been like, no, thanks. Pass. Hard pass. Okay. Hard pass. Um, but I didn't get the option. It was there. It was there. Oh, thank you. I saw that. You look great. Isn't it funny how I could focus on that? I saw that. Thank you. Um, but uh i but i did i did see it and it was it was one of the harder things that i've seen you know and one of the harder things that i've had to witness and probably one of the most eye-opening things that actually helped me more than anything and that was witnessing my own death from start to finish and while I wouldn't recommend it, I'm going to recommend it. How odd is that? I mean, maybe I'm psycho. Who knows? Um, but I know that the majority of us have, we seem to be repeating cycles. Okay? And that is, 
I know that is one of most of us, one of our biggest concerns is we can't seem to get out of it. And even once you start doing this, you're still going to repeat some cycles. Okay? <laughs> Hate to break it to you, but you're still going to repeat some cycles. And you might do it a few times. Okay? Um, but you'll catch on a little bit quicker. It's worth it. Okay? Um, I'm going to try to squint and see on here um let me look it would be some you know what next time i'm not going to be i'm not going to even worry about looking cute i'm going to wear my readers is what i'm going to do um okay so oh crap i can't see everything um i'll go on here and answer questions after the fact feel free to talk amongst yourselves and share information as well um but when i talk about repeating patterns i think that every single one of us can find something in our lives that causes us pain and for whatever reason we continue to do it it's almost we, we almost feel like we seek it out this can be in regards to a type of person this can be in regards to a a, a habit okay um something um something that has that is almost like self-harm really it really is it, it, it's self-harm it's like it's almost like we're punishing ourselves it, but we would never say that and we would never see it that way but we are and it isn't that we necessarily mean to it's just that we are i have a little bit of a slow connection so i'm going to walk into the other room it is just that we're kind of I don't know. I guess what we're tr what we're doing is we are trying to find a way where we start to see the signs a little bit quicker and maybe teach ourselves what to look for and what to not look for in regards to these instances that cause us this type of trauma. And you would think that it wouldn't take multiple lives to do that you would think that's not true apparently it can it can take 9 10 11 12 who knows it can, it can take four for some people um but if you sit down and this is one of the things that i wanted to talk about if you sit down and you go through the painful unbelievably painful process of Figuring out what it is that you are attracting. When you sit down and you are honest with yourself about what it is that you're doing. Who it is that you're seeking out. What are your bad habits that you seem to be drawn to. Is it alcohol? Is it drugs? Is it men? Is it women? Is it food? Food. Right here. This chica right here okay love food love me some food okay um and i know why i'm gonna show you all a little secret um this is the oldest i've ever been okay oldest i've ever been um only time in, in any of my lives i've had a child in every life i've been sexually assaulted and multiple times in this life and being heavy was a way to not be noticed think about that what's the quickest way to not be noticed to be unattractive okay it I didn't realize that was my shield until about three years ago seriously I didn't I didn't figure out that that was my shield until about three years ago how crazy is that <laughs> That y'all didn't know that, did you? Well, how could you? Because I didn't, you know? Um, but even if that tells you anything, that was three years ago. My meditation that took me to my past life was in, gosh, y'all, I was still married. I was still married. So that was, Grayson was four, 
He's 21. He's 21 now. So to get to that point, to get to where you can start to figure out what it is that makes you tick, what it is that is causing you to seek out destructive behavior, and what it is that is causing you to manifest in the negative, you have to dig deep. And you have to do that shadow work. And that is a buzzword, y'all. It is a buzzword. People talk about it, and they talk about it, and they talk about it. And guess what? They don't do it. I'm going to tell you right now, they don't do it. Because it hurts. It hurts. And you've got to be honest with yourself. All your quirks and your horribleness and your your nastiness inside your soul and the things that you would never admit to another living soul you've got to admit to yourself you know they don't talk about that and, and I mean I have people who know I have people who know that I, I know of which I speak and when I say that I have done my shadow work, <laughs> the things I have admitted to them, they would tell you right now, Vanessa has done her shadow work. Because there is no way that I would admit the thoughts in my head if I had not. No way. To myself or to anybody else. And for me to admit that, publicly that tells you right there that I mean I, I I am walking the walk okay um but what I need you to do meditation we talk about that and we talk about it um along with the shadow work um as it, it again a buzzword meditation is a buzzword and I'll be the first one to tell you that you don't have to do anything crazy you really don't but but I'm going to correct myself here but if you want to go deep, if you want to get to the root of the problems, if you want to find some semblance of recovery and grace for yourself and hope for your future and for your psyche and for those that, that have to be around you, <laughs> Okay, because sometimes we ain't fun, y'all. Um, you you, you got to go deep. And it is more difficult. It is. It's more than just doing what I what I tell you to do and sitting on the couch, putting a stone in each hand and, and breathing deep and having some pizza or some nachos after. It's more than that. Um, it takes deep concentration. It takes willpower. And it takes not being afraid. And that is probably one of the biggest things that you're going to have to put to, to the wayside when you talk about doing something like this is putting that fear to the side. And when I tell you to do that, I'm telling you to do that with the full knowledge that you are in control when you do this. And... That is something that you won't believe until you actually do it, okay? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't believe until I actually did it. And it, it's, it's, it's hard to understand. It's just like in a dream state, okay? It's hard to understand that we never, unless, unless it's channeling, and even then... Once you get a grip on it, you never fully lose control, okay? Once you know, once you know what's going on, um, we never fully lose control of our bodies. We don't, even in dream state, so even in meditative state, as long as we're aware and as long as we're making the active choice, okay? So, in this meditative state, you do have control, and I'm going to give you the best example, and those who have read my books know this. Those who haven't, you're getting ready to hear it, okay? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, God, my eyes look weird, don't they? Creepy. Um, but, um, so, this particular meditative state. Laying down, 
surprised I didn't fall asleep, okay, laying down, and I was running, almost immediately, running, but joyfully, okay, it's very exuberant, you know, and it was, I would say, just after dusk, and just that beautiful night smell, you know, gotta love it, and, um, I was, I was barefoot, and I could feel the, the dew, the wetness of the grass, and the length of the skirt, and the roughness of the material of my shirt, and I, obviously, very long time ago, and I'm running, and I hear so many people behind me, and they're running as well, and, and I'm laughing, and I'm thinking, well, this is, this is really neat, I mean, we're all, we're all laughing, and we're running, and, and, this is wonderful until I realize, yes, I'm running and I'm laughing and they're running too, but they're not running with me. They're running towards me. There's a very real difference in somebody running with you and running towards you. Okay. Um, and it, I, I started to pick up my speed as I'm trying to get away. And let's face it, I mean, I'm about 17 at this time in, in, in this particular life. And I, I'm not, I'm not getting away. Okay. And at the last minute, I, it's, it's like the, the night clouds parted and the moon shone and it hit this tree limb that was hanging down. And it was like right on the knot on this tree limb. And I just right there on my head and it knocked me out and when it knocked me out it knocked me out of my body and so the me of today of then you know lo was looking at the me of me then all those years ago and watched them pick up my body and and proceed to laughingly string it up and and hang it over the tree limb that had you know the tree and the limbs that had knocked me out so I watched them hang me. So that explained so many things. Um, one, the fact that I can never have anything tight around my neck. I've been that way my entire life. Okay. Um, I had one thing, one thing I could wear around my neck when I was younger. One thing. And it was interesting because it was made of leather. So it was almost tribal, which we'll talk about that another day. Okay. Um, but, uh, other than that, even t-shirts, I cut the necks out nine times out of 10. Can't take it. Um, it also explains why I cannot tolerate, cannot tolerate somebody coming up behind me. Cannot. There have been instances where it's happened and I've been okay. Um, but for the most part, if anybody comes up behind me, if I'm standing, they're on the floor. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter how big they are. I'm taking them down. And it doesn't matter that I'm not even 5'2". They're going to lose a kneecap. Okay? Um, it explained so much. It explained visions that I had had. It explained anger and frustration that I had had. It explained fear that I had had. Um, it explained so much that I had always thought was false within me. You know, that I that I had always thought was there was something wrong with me. You know, and maybe there is, you know. Um, but it it helped click some puzzle pieces together. Now, the way that I was able to go so deep, and this is where it gets a little hinky. And this is one of the reasons why so many people don't try this and why I say it takes immense amount of concentration and it does take discipline and it does take willpower is because again, it's not just the simple act of laying down and saying, I'm going to meditate. Okay. It's not, um, it is, you lay down and you have to train your brain to visualize two separate things at one time 
over and over. And you do that in the numbers and the colors of the chakras. And so you will do that from seven to one, from red to purple. And you visualize them in blackness coming at you. And it's it makes you dizzy. <laughs> at least it did me. Okay, makes you dizzy. Um, it it's a, it's a little frustrating. Okay, it's it's not easy because you're not imagining that number surrounded by the color. You're imagining that number as the color. So you know, seven red, six orange, five yellow. Four green, three blue, two indigo, one purple. You know, you're you're doing it in, in that way. And it sounds so easy, and it is one of the most difficult things I've ever done. Ever. Okay? Um, you know, I've channeled a group of people in my body at one time. Expelled them out. Okay? That was fun. That was harder. Doing doing the meditation that way but it was worth it because it opened up the ability to be able to control for lack of a better way of putting it some semblance of my meditative process which in turn gave me control over my dream process my astral travel process it allowed me to understand that I should never 100% lose power. And whenever I doubt myself, I go back to that memory. And I remember that it wasn't just the knock on the head that pushed me out of that body that mattered. It was the strength that I had within me to stay there and watch what happened. Okay? Any other time, I would have probably ran. I would have probably pulled myself out. I would have probably screamed. I would have done anything other than what I did. For whatever reason, I didn't. Could it have been the ancestors back of me? Absolutely. You know, but it happened the way it happened for a reason. Let me go through here. I need to see. This would have been so much easier on a bigger screen. Um, let me look on here. I'm looking up here and y'all seeing up my nose. Okay. I'm going to see if I can see any questions on here. Unless I'm just talking and y'all just listening because you're precious and I love you all. Um, okay. So let me look. Do, 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 do. Y'all let me know if I'm explaining this okay or not. Okay, so, so far everybody could hear. That is wonderful. Okay, do, 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 do. No blurry and you have sound. Not blurry and I have sound. Yay! Okay. Um, if you have any questions and I, and I don't see it or can't get to it, please put it here in the live and I can go after the fact and make sure, <coughs> excuse me, that everybody gets that uh, or that that I answer it in that live so that everybody um, can benefit from seeing the answer to that particular question because we 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 all want to know certain things and if anybody else has information that I don't have or that I'm not giving please by all means put it in the chat this this isn't hey Vanessa knows everything show this is hey here's Vanessa's platform let's all learn together Okay, let's all learn together um, because that's the way it should be. This is a collective. This is a collective. Um, also, the other important thing about past life regression, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is when you're, when you're going through and you're doing that shadow work and you're getting that information, you will notice that it affects your future choices in how you handle particular situations. Now, like I said, you will still make some not so good choices. Absolutely. <laughs> right here. Okay. Still making them. Sometimes still making them, but you might not let them affect you as long. Okay. 
you might not let them affect you as long. They might not affect you as strongly. Um, you might not tolerate quite as much. The, it, it, it will vary in different ways. And I think that's the entire process. It, that's, the, that's the interesting thing is I think that we expect to go from one extreme to the other. And I don't think anything could be further from the truth. Everything is shades of gray. Everything is varying degrees. And I think the less that we expect perfection, the more the, that we embrace progress. Which is what it's all about. You know, perfection is death. Perfection means there's no more room for growth. I, I'm not going anywhere yet. So, um, as long as there is progress, as long as there is growth, that is truly the most important thing. And I think that that's what we all need to focus on. Let me see if there is anything in there. Y'all are just being so sweet and just listening to me ramble on. I just love you. Okay. Let's see in here. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, oh gosh, I've got a lot to look on there. Okay. So, let's see. I've heard birthmarks can give hints as to how you died in a past life. Um, actually, I, I agree with this. I agree with this. Um, and it's, it's interesting because you'll notice some people self-included have multiples because <laughs> because apparently we couldn't be murdered enough okay but here's the interesting thing not only can birthmarks show where you may have been murdered or died for what for however it happened in a past life but if you will notice you will also, or could also, most likely, suffer injuries in the same locations in your current life. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm not as chubby as I used to be, but I'm going to see if y'all can see something. I don't know. Can y'all see the scars under there? Can you see those? I can't tell if you can see those or not. Okay. Okay might have them hidden by makeup but they're all under there okay well one life hung one life throat cut this life <laughs> head stuck through huge fish tank under the age of three um head stuck in a german shepherd's mouth under the age of three. My oldest brother had to pull me out. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you can see this one. Can you see that one right there? This is the reason I have my seizures right there. Can you see that one? Okay. Um, beaten to death in one life. In this life. In this life under the age of three, skull cracked open, scar tissue on my left frontal lobe, which is what causes my seizures. So I have scar tissue on my brain. I have a traumatic brain injury right there. Man, that's just the ones I'm willing to show you. We're not gonna talk about the other ones. I saw another question up here. Okay, where was that at? Okay, Joe, I saw you had a question on here, Joe. Oh, thank you, Joe, I appreciate that. Oh, let's see here. Let me see. I could just want to saw another one. Okay, now, J Jody, you said I am really terrified to do my shadow work. Are there some ways around this? I have a fear of anything on my neck and fear of breathing. It's an, a fear of not breathing. Okay, I want to tell you, yes, that there is a way to not do the shadow work. I, I, I want to tell you that. Um, but I can't. Now, what I can tell you, what I can tell you is you don't have to do it all at once. You don't have to. You can, you can do it in stages, okay? You can do it in stages and you can, you know, ask for the presence of your guides. You can ask for the presence of your ancestors. You can make sure that, that, you know, you 
only do small doses at a time. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. You don't got to go nuts, okay? Um, like I said, I mean, I, I started with that that meditation and past life regression when my son was four. He's 21 now. So, I, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't do all this in a day. And anyone who tells you they can, they're smoking themselves stupid okay it's not true <laughs> it's not true all right it's one of the reasons why i wanted to do this show is is let's take the ego out of all this crap all right let's all learn together you know let's all learn together i'm not i'm not charging nothing for this i want my knowledge to go to y'all and if y'all have knowledge let it come to me I mean, that's the way it should be, you know? I mean, you know, heck, buy my jewelry, buy my books, get a reading or two. There you go. But uh, but all this other stuff, this is this is why I'm doing this. Um, I, I, I think if you start out small, okay? Start out small. Just do a little bit at a time, you know? You already know, and we're not going to go into it right now because this is a public forum, but you already know the areas that would cause you the most grief. So what I want you to do is if it is in your form, then on a piece of paper, and this applies to anybody, this applies to anybody. If it is in your form, if you have particular years that are more difficult for you in regards to your shadow work, things that you might not want to revisit. Do it in the form of a bullseye, okay? And put the main year in the middle, the subsequent next hardest years around it, and go outwards to the easiest years. And start with the easiest ones first. And then slowly work your way in. Just slowly work your way in. Remember, it is progress, not perfection. Progress, not perfection. None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. That is one of the reasons that, I, that I've <clears throat> always said it was so important for shadow work as well is because we need to know our dark sides. We need to. Y'all, I got a doozy. Okay? I am the absolute nicest person you will ever meet. Ever. Until I'm not. And that frightens me. Because if I wasn't aware, if I wasn't aware of what I could be and am capable of and the the level that my anger can go to if I was not aware of that can you imagine the damage I could do I don't want to do that you know so I self-awareness is everything for me everything so if I'm aware and I know what my um, triggers are. And if I know what puts me to that point, And I can avoid it, not for my safety and sanity, but for somebody else's. Then I will. Because if I ever choose anger. Then I've made a conscious, conscious choice. And I'm willing to accept whatever comes from that. So that is why shadow work is important. Because every, everything needs to be a conscious choice. Because that is the one thing we have. That's it. That's what we have. That, that, is, that is our... That's our right, is our conscious choice. Things are going to happen. Doesn't matter what you do. 
doesn't matter what you say, doesn't matter what you do, situations are going to happen. Choosing how you react to them, that is entirely up to you. And if you don't do the shadow work, you're limiting your choice. And you, you have to be very careful how much you limit yourself. Because if you, if you limit like that, then you also limit your potential. And I'm here to tell you right now, it's the more potential you have, the harder things get, but it's still worth it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just because, just because things get a little bit better, doesn't mean they get easier because believe, believe me when I tell you they do not. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. So I might be, let me look. I might be. Oh gosh, I'm going to have to wear my glasses next time. It might be possible to do some soul retrieval through Shamanic Journey. Okay, I've done that. Life traumas. Okay, you know what? If that works for you, do that. Do that. You know, I mean, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. And if doing it that way helps you, do it. Because that might more comfortably open a door for you than the way that I'm telling you to do it. Okay? So it's whatever works best for you as long as you do it. <laughs> okay? I mean, it's it's weird. It's, and, and it's, it's not that I'm saying, I don't care how you do it, just do it. But I'm kind of saying, I don't care how you do it, just do it. Okay? Um, only because it is truly all about spiritual evolution. That is why I named this this show that. Because that is what we need to be doing. We need to be evolving. We need to be going past where we are. Above where we've been. And beyond where we can see. So that we can become better versions of ourselves our whole point for being here it isn't just to take up space it isn't just to be what we think others want us to be just to be who we were meant to be and the only way that we can do that and do it with perfect soul intention is to be completely honest with ourselves and to, to put our best energy out there. That, that's, that's what we can do. That is what we can do. And I, I think, I think even though the process is slow, even though it is slow, <laughs> it is slow. And some days it is at a snail's pace. Okay. Um, it, it is still very much worth it and very much something that I think we should all strive to do because we forget that it isn't just about us okay it isn't because we have this other thing and we'll go into this in greater detail I and mean, I can't believe y'all sticking around like this bless y'all's hearts good gravy um we forget that you know we affect other people in so many different ways energy transference okay huge huge the way that we affect each other on that and not just people that are, are directly in our lives y'all this we affect the person that we that we run into at the gas station we affect the people that we run into at walmart at the grocery store at the bank and so if we, and I know y'all have noticed it over the past, you know, a little bit. And I, when I say a little bit, I mean in the past, you know, seven, eight years, the energy level of the world has changed drastically. It has changed drastically. Yeah, and for many reasons, and, and, and none of which I think we need to specify here, it is many reasons. So I don't want to go into anything political. There are so many different reasons for it. Um, but I almost feel like it's a test. 
And I feel like it is a test to see if we are walking our walk. Are we trying to be better versions of ourselves? Are we actively putting in the effort to be better humans? Are we, are we putting in the effort to be worthy of this wonderfulness that we have around us? Are we doing that? You know, and so far, y'all, we're getting we're getting a C minus, maybe a D plus, okay? Because we've we've turned into nasty human beings, and then we rub that off on the people that we that we come across. And I'm guilty. Oh, y'all, I was so guilty. I was. Oh my goodness, I I was just as bad as anybody else. Just as bad as anybody else. If I was having a bad day, boy howdy, I was sharing that mess. Okay, um, and I didn't. I didn't care if my attitude bothered anybody. I didn't care. I care now. You know, I care now, because why would I want my negative energy to rub off on somebody that a didn't deserve it, b what did not ask for it. And had not done anything at all to receive it. And see, might have been having a perfectly lovely day until they came across me. And so it's the little things. It's those little things um, of, you know, how I treat somebody at the drive through You know, how I treat somebody on the phone or things like that. And we don't think that, we, we don't think about those little things, but they all matter. And when we work on ourselves... We automatically work on that. You can't help but work on that. And those little bits that we put out there into the universe, those little bits that we, those little seeds we plant, they all make a big difference. You know, we don't got enough farmers out there right now doing that. Y'all, I'm just going to tell you right now, okay? <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we don't got enough farmers. Um, now, I do have to be honest with you. I am relatively certain that my phone is probably going to need to go on the charger, okay? Um, because I was fully expecting to do this on my laptop, and that was not working out for me. It doesn't let you hop on a live on your laptop like it does on this. It's a whole rigmarole I got to do, so I'm going to have to figure that out, um, and I will. That way, next time, it'll be a little bit easier. Um I will go through, um, how long was I on here? Does anybody know? I can't see because it doesn't give me a timer. Do we know? Okay, let's see here. I don't know. I think it was a cool minute though. I think it was a little bit. Let me see if I can get to the, to the new comments. I think I got to see those right here. Okay. Oh, well, bless your heart, Debbie. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Um, I'm going to go through, once I put my, uh, my readers on and answer all these, uh, I will also go through everybody who commented, okay? And for 41 minutes, that's not so bad. Not quite an hour. You know what? We will do, I will do an hour next time once I know that I can do it on my laptop. Okay, because <laughs> my phone's going to die, my arm's getting tired, and, and it's just, yeah, anyway. But, but, what I was going to say is I'm going to go through everybody who watched and commented on here. And, um, I know a lot of y'all already have Born Wicked, but it's, but it's, oh, oh, yes, oh. And, yeah, um, uh, this Thursday evening, May and I uh, will be doing, um, we, we uh, have the recording of Magical Ireland with me in May. And it's going to be Thursday at 7 p.m. Really excited. Y'all got to watch that. That was a lot of fun to record. We had a blast. And for those who um, are interested in going to Northern Ireland and Scotland with us, we don't have a lot of spaces available, but we do still have some. And I highly, highly, highly recommend hopping on that trip, y'all. Okay? Um, having been overseas multiple times... It's so much easier and so much more pleasant if you can do it with someone else driving, <laughs> okay? True story. It, it, because you get to see everything. You're not having to drive, and you get to see everything, okay? Um, anywho, 
I'm going to go through everyone who, who commented and um, I will draw names and um, whoever whoever's name I draw, they will get um, a signed copy and a personally inscribed copy of Born Wicked and a handcrafted pendant. Now, if you already have a copy of the book, by all means, um, let me know and let me know who you want to gift it to and I will make it out to them. Okay? Um, and, uh, but you'll still get the pendant if you want to keep it. So, anyway. But, uh, I, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. This was my trial run. And I think it went okay. You think it went okay? I had fun. I wish I, I, wish I you know, could have done it on the computer. But I think it went pretty good. So, anyway. I hope y'all had fun. And I will, um, I'm gonna, I'll do the drawing tomorrow okay so you guys were amazing Mwah! i love every last one of you and y'all just have a a great rest of your evening okay bye next tuesday all right next tuesday 7 p.m bye